I don't think 
it takes a lot to make something beautiful. I think that there's something really pretty in harmony and echo and uh, the way that simple things stack together here. I have four oscillators that are being tuned uh, into a nice major chord. With this really ripping bass underneath it. And this is actually just an aux 2 loop uh, that I've tuned to the right spot. And that's all. It's just moving things up and down and uh, running those into a nice delay and reverb on the black hole symmetry here. I'm not using the distortion. Uh, with the no input mixing board, uh, the distortion just totally eats everything in a way that's you lose a lot of detail. I can show you. So... It pulls up so much of what's below that we just lose everything there. It's still nice and crisp without the distortion from the black hole symmetry here, but the delay and the reverb are beautiful on it. I've been thinking about what it would mean to take my mixing board somewhere where I don't have my computer, but I still want to have some effects with it. Any sort of reverb plus delay would do perfectly fine. This is just what I happen to have. I think part of what I'm getting at here is that music doesn't require an incredibly complex instrument that lets you do everything. This mixing board is currently set up so that it plays five notes and... I really think that that's all you need. It's like a flute that has holes drilled for it so that it can only play a select number of notes. Sometimes when I'm thinking about composition, I feel all of this pressure to have harmony that is moving and uh, complex melodic figures. But I think music can be beautiful with a lot less than that. 